Yep. It's exactly what somebody thought it was. Oh. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So, previously I struggled with getting the gearbox apart. And I said, I really need, I really need a press because you set it in the press, so you can press it down instead of me using a hammer, which is probably not the best thing for it. So, we're gonna go Harbor Freight. 100 bucks, 150 bucks, we'll get a press. Appreciate you guys watching along. Let's dive into today. Let's see if we can get that gearbox apart. See exactly what came out of the bottom. Nick Snyder from Washington State already hit me up and said, hey, I know a guy with them. So I appreciate that, Nick, with those complete gearboxes. Um, we got to see if we can fix this one or what goes on. I really don't want to put a ton of money into this head and just chop a little bit. So let's see. Yeah, this might be dangerous that they put a Harbor Freight in this close right now. And you know, I need tools. I don't need anything amazing. Just minor things to get, help me get done with what I need to do. Ended up not actually having the press, but I did buy some things. So on to the next place to get the press. Did some running around this morning. So previously, I realized I need a press so I can press that out of there without doing any damage and destroying everything. Went. To tractor or uh, Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight tools. Yeah, I wouldn't rely on them, but for the amount of use that I actually need out of some of it, and they're cheap and they're on sale right now. So I went to Harbor Freight, and they opened one in Lowell, ten minutes away. So I got that. Well, they didn't have it. So what I ended up getting was, I got myself a hydraulic air jack. And a rolly cart, because all this was really on sale, and we really need the rolly cart so I can stop just laying stuff everywhere and losing everything. And the guy said, oh, there's one in Salem, New Hampshire. 25 minutes away? All right. So I ran up there. When I was in there, I was wandering around, and I was talking to one of my buddies, and as everybody says, running the 7520 for power makes zero sense. So for $300, well, less than 300, it was on sale and the dude actually hooked me up. I got the 1400 Predator um, generator, super quiet. So hopefully it will be really, really quiet when I'm filming because that's one thing, it's always got background. So we got a few things to put together. This, I wasn't gonna get a generator, but all of that stuff is gonna, I need for the future no matter what. Um, the generator will help me, give me a good peace of mind when we're traveling, doing something. So still working through what I'm going to do as far as if I can make, if I can make Iowa work or if we're going to go farming somewhere else or where we're going to end up. So I guess I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, there is a GoFundMe as far as going to Iowa, but if we don't end up in Iowa, the, all that money is going to go towards farming, um, somewhere else we're gonna go farming no matter what it's when I'm not farming it's kind of depressing it's sad I so yeah farming is a well it's what I want to do for my future and it is farming with Duffy the channel so let me uh, pull this stuff apart and then we're gonna dive back in we'll do the head we'll do that gearbox and see where we get to I'll admit generators over there running lights are on I'm gonna plug in some batteries so we got all our batteries, plug in my boom box, and put together the rest of the stuff. So that, yeah, you guys, uh, a lot of people have said I should have done that long, long, long time ago. And well, I agree with you guys. Just, yeah, 
it's convenience of if I'm there I'll get one but <sighs> live and learn so hopefully that's better for us what are you doing it's hot today 92 today you hot I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not starting the car. No, Yanko, come on, come on. I'm not, it's gonna be hotter in here. He's like, I'm all over this. The worst part about that is putting it together. Same with the worst part about this, putting this together. But I was gonna try to sneak up in the shop and press that out, but that thing's super heavy to carry around. And well, this will pay for itself at some point here and that wasn't that was cheap so worked out good generator i got the lights on just because they're plugged in but it's charging my batteries and oh, that battery's good i go swap them so it's charging my battery got my bluetooth speaker going so i could uh jam out while i was fixing things while putting that together um yeah that generator is quiet much better use than running the 7520 because i figured even if i charged myself 30 dollars an hour to run it after 10 hours to buy a generator so yeah you guys who said that earlier you're right i should have done that a while ago i just hadn't been in the harbor freight in a long time so previously we were trying to get this out of there and it will not come out because um well yeah and hammering it is probably not the best thing for it so that is why i went and got a press i don't think this is gonna work i tried so it's pushing it out some and this shaft should all be one but i think there's a snap ring that's holding it in somewhere in between or something because i had quite a lot of bit of print uh, quite a lot of pressure on this and it won't move anymore so it's flush um talking to 802 farmers um go check their channel out because they offered last year when this acted up to give me some advice on it and they said it's a pain a lot of prying hammering prying then i well then you look on youtube and see if somebody's done this and uh somebody did it and they said just destroy the bearing out um have the balls fall out and then split it because you got to replace the bearing anyway so that might be the best bet that i got going it's gonna be interesting what is rattling around inside of here <sighs> yeah so that might be my best bet cut this bearing down and then uh or break it out somehow and then pop all the balls out and then just split it out and cut everything off and put a new one in yeah, this is turning into a project. Everybody I've talked to uh, has said the same thing. These are not that fun. So just for, just verify, looked up on Iowa Cutters that has, they're, they got a ton of chopper parts. They got parts machines of 695, stuff like that. Um, these gearboxes used, that is $6,000. Let's not mess this up. So, I took a, yeah, we're gonna get that out of there now. We're gonna need a little pick or something. So, I took the plasma cutter because I do not have a set of torches, which plasma cutter works actually pretty good. Um, I almost thought about buying a set of torches, but if we're gonna buy torches, they ain't gonna be the cheap ones because for the amount of time that I really do when I need a torch, I need a good one. That's really what it comes down to. So I took the plasma cutter and uh, cut a little slit right here so that we could uh, get the balls out and then it should split by itself and then we can cut everything out or we can cut it off, the, off of it. Just gotta get all this stuff off of it. So I'm gonna do some hammering, but so far we've got one out. The other one should move. We just gotta work them all around. Got them out of there. Didn't damage anything that I can see. We'll see if this comes apart now. Supposedly this should, 
that that thing's in there so and yeah i'm working back on the ground because i didn't feel like carrying it back out there and there was a chance of rain and honestly it all went south of here so my five acres of grass over there and hopefully we got a some rain over there i should go swing over there tomorrow and just check and see if it's growing at all hopefully that'd be good we gotta get that cultivator to frank as well we got quite a bit to do but let's pull this apart this is definitely gonna come apart which by the way i did break a drill bit because well i tried drilling it not this one that one broke the end off of it and drilling tried to round it off before i used the plasma cutter tried cutting a slit with the grinder but that didn't work okay let's take this apart just to try the back side i think the dowel pin still is stuck in it Okay. Whew. Yep. It's exactly what somebody thought it was. Oh. Um. That's odd. Okay. So we gotta split some of this apart. I think that just comes down. Let's see. So this is what fell out. And these are the dogs that once it starts spinning, I think they engage. I think that's how Mitchell O'Neill explained it to me last fall. Um, there's something in there though. We are, we're getting it. Let me move this back. So here's some more parts, the spring, some cracked pieces. Yeah, I know what happened here. I got the bearing, the inner race off of that. Actually looks pretty good on that shaft. That should come out by itself now. There we go, yep. So we should be able to work all this, yep. Out. Oh yeah, there's a snap ring in there. That's why that wouldn't come off. That makes sense. Put that back down in there. I think that goes down in there. Oh no, it goes there. Fuck. We gotta get this apart. So then I can show you. And how does this come apart? Gotta take that bearing and pop off, I guess. Okay. That all looks good. This thing don't look bad at all. Except for what's underneath this. Slowly acquiring the right tools for the right for the job. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. So here's what happened. That's wild. I don't know why the other ones didn't take over. Here's what happened. Let me show you in the light. Okay. Set you guys on the Mac here. So, 
There's dogs that engage and it will slide down and it actually locks this with the main drum. Um, that's not supposed to be able to see through it. So it got wore out or something and it broke and dropped that one down through it and that was the end of it. Which is wild. I would have figured the other two would have made up for it. but So this is its own piece. We'll get the puller. We'll pull that off. As I'm sitting here editing this, I'm like, oh no. The other two, they fell through that hole when they spun around. Okay. Now it makes some sense. Mind blowing. Alrighty, back to uh, the carnage. That's wild. So it wore through over its life and eventually just punched through. And you can see on these other ones, it's got rub marks. And it punched through. That's why there's parts underneath it. I'll grab the other ones, I'll show you. Okay, here's the springs that go inside of these. As you see, they go in and they sit in that upper housing and spring pushes them down. So, in theory, As it spins around, it locks into there. Right? Does something. Locks in. So, if the head gets turned in reverse, it slips over it. I think that's what it really is. So you can shut the head off and it doesn't just kill it. So, whatever was going on, this one came down and it punched a hole. And it stopped it from actually, well... This is what happened. Here's the pieces, here's some more pieces. So maybe we can just uh, slap these pieces back in here. Looks like that one goes there. And this one goes here. We'll just JB weld it. And uh, yeah, that would be good, right? So this is what came out of it. That was what was on the drain plug. Here's the spring that was with it. That's supposed to look like that. That is supposed to look like this. So what we need to do, get some bearings, get this piece, get some springs, probably change all these out. Ah, oh, those look pretty good. We'll probably change them though. We'll call and see what the, what the price of them is. Bearings. And everything, so everything in my book, let me grab my book. And keep in mind, this Kemper head is the same as a deer head of the same time. Um, I forget the exact model. So like, there's, a, there's available parts. Oh, I'm getting stuff dirty. That's the problem. Um, where are we here? flip some pages on me in the wind so what we need is uh, 580 210 and uh, 914 and then it's yeah as you see and then we need the bearing for this bearing and that bearing and that seal and I guess just that seal that seal down here so hmm probably new snap rings for that one this one that I didn't actually have to take apart but there we have it I wonder how junk the other one is I guess what I'll do We'll see how much this costs and how much these cost. Maybe we'll get enough for the other side. 
I figured these were going to be wore out or something and they were slipping. But that, I have a feeling this part's going to be pretty expensive. Um, judging that gearbox is $6,000 used. So, and we're balling on a budget right now. So, and then the other ones, we're going to tr try changing the bolts out to the heavier grade and see if that solves them. Somebody was good with that number. Um, and last year, when we put new bolts in it, I'm trying to think, when it had snapping issues, if I put bolts in it and I let it set and cure um, with the, with the heavy-duty Loctite stuff, um, that you got to heat the bolts to get out of, it lasted like 60 acres, and then it broke a bolt. So if we can do that, and I just keep an eye on it, I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't think I'm going to chop more than 60 acres this fall at all. So we still, we do have to go see Brian. Take it, his corn actually grew something. They got different weather out there. Um, but. Alrighty, I'm going to mess around with this. In a few minutes, we'll get out of here, but I want to see the lights before. Leave all our stuff here. That way we know that's part of being under covered building. Makes well, the hoop. Makes it pretty good there. Um, let's see. It's dark. You guys can't see anything anyways, right? Let me, uh... Wow. So those are low beams. Those are high beams. Keep in mind, I got everything in the way, but that is a lot better than before. Seat's leaking. Whew. I like them. I like them a lot, so I appreciate it, Brian. Brian Brock, I th think, I believe. I should remember names better, but. Hell of a rig we got going on here. I was like, what is going on here? Bug on the light. Hell yeah, looks good. Someday we'll put a little, put a few more lights on it, but for right now we're, we're living. So. Alrighty guys, I appreciate you guys watching along, um, gaining through projects, seeing where we get to. That was interesting, something I never did. So we didn't need the press after all, I should have done some more digging, but I figured that's how it had to come apart, but cutting that off and that's probably the best way to do it. We just got to get a new bearing, which probably should change that bearing anyways, um, after hammering on it and everything else. So I'm not too worried about that. But. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support. Yeah, we're going to keep kicking along on these projects we got. Get closer to... We'll never be done with projects. There's always going to be projects, no matter what we do. But I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.